Uh, hi, it's me again, and I'm just going to review uh, very quickly on some of the things that you can do to uh, do your material containment uh, when you have um, production line fallout and how to determine uh, which uh, material needs to be sorted and which uh, that you could leave alone. And you can use the um, CQE book, um, which would have the ANSI uh, ASQ Z uh, 1.4 uh, lookup table to say how big your sampling size. Uh, but I really don't use that. Um, uh, basically, I just get a reel of parts and grab a sample size. It's maybe about eh, this big, maybe about 150 um, components. And um, uh, what I'll do is I take them out of the feeder tape, uh, throw them on a raw uh, PCB panel, and let it go through the reflow oven and so that they get heat stress and then I uh, generate a table of all the samples uh, by using my LCR meter that's uh, tied up to the uh, GPIB interface bus which uh, is um, controlled by LabVIEW and that allows me to serialize the data collection. Okay, I have uh, serialized the information and poured it over into Excel. In the middle is uh, a graphic uh, generated by uh, Minitab and I use that to look at the uh, Gaussian uh, distribution of the samples. Uh, right here uh, these are 10 microfarad uh, capacitors and as you can see on this particular lot of um, let's see 184 samples um, the um, distribution is uh, pretty um, even and then if you look over to the next sample um, the uh, distribution is kind of um, even it's two and then if you look over to the third sample it's uh, pretty good however if you look at the last sample uh, the uh, distribution is uneven and also some of the um, components are outside of the lower uh, test limit. Okay, so now I've determined uh, which uh, particular lot number uh, from the um, sampling groups that I need to do um, some kind of actions on. And so first thing is do uh, material containment. Uh, uh, grab it from the production line, make sure that the warehouse has been uh, cleared with the suspect uh, date codes or lot numbers and put them in your uh, containment area so that they don't end up inadvertently uh, back in the circulation. And also uh, facilitate by providing the production line with alternate uh, date codes that, uh, that through sampling have been determined that the there's no issues with them and so that would uh, mitigate uh, any kind of disruptions in the manufacturing. Well I hope uh, you folks uh, enjoy that. Uh, this was a, a short video and I would appreciate any kind of feedback um, the viewers can um, offer me. I'm not a professional videographer and it definitely shows I'm just sort of doing this in my uh, spare bedroom um, to uh, cobble this information together uh, but I feel that this is something that they really don't teach in school this is sort of my learning the, through um, the school of hard knocks and I believe uh, this information would be uh, useful to uh, some other people. Chirping sound that you probably hear is the uh, feeder crickets uh, for my lizards so yes my, my uh, speech is so boring now uh, you can hear crickets so have a good day